if you're looking for a stretchier bind off than your standard um, cast off that you, you do with knitting one and then passing that slip slipping that stitch over the um, one before it um, which is kind of a tight bind off um, and it's a lot tighter than the cast on edge you might want to consider something called uh, an I-cord bind off. An I-cord bind off is similar to doing I-cord so if you've ever done that it's similar to that um, but it gives both um, a very neat edge um, somewhat understated and, and decorative but um, but it takes a little bit more time, but it's very stretchy. So let's go ahead and start that. So you first start off, just to be clear, we're going to be doing a three stitch I-cord bind off. You can have different number of stitches in your I-cord, um, but three seems to be a nice, neat um, way of doing it and quick and fast and easy and stretchy. So we're going to cast on three stitches using the knitted cast on. What you do by pulling through a knit stitch and then putting it back onto your left needle. Do that three times. So you knit, put it onto your left needle, knit, put it onto your left needle. So I've just added three knitted cast on stitches at the beginning of my row. And the basic three stitch I cord bind off is you're gonna knit two and then knit two together. And then you're gonna put those stitches back on to your left needle, all three, and you're gonna knit two. Knit two together. Just like we did the first time. Put those stitches back on to your left needle. And you're going to knit two, knit one, two, knit three together. Put those stitches back on to your left needle. Knit two. Knit two together. You missed. Knit two together. Again, this takes a little bit longer because you're actually knitting three stitches for every bound off stitch. But it's great on baby blankets, especially if you've done an I cord uh, cast on. And you can look up I cord cast ons as well. So since I'm binding off 16 stitches, each one takes, or this bind off takes 48 stitches in essence to bind it off as a result of doing it. Plus you're repositioning the stitches back onto the left needle each time as well. So it's a little bit more time consuming, but it is definitely a stretchy and a very even looking and definitely not sloppy looking bind off. Um, one of the things that I don't like about some of the bind offs that I've seen, especially ones that tell you just go up a needle size or two needle sizes or things like that, is they sometimes look really sloppy and I'm not a big fan of 
a sloppy bound off edge. I think having a neater bind off edge is, is what you want to strive for. But if stretch is, is necessary associated with it, then this is a good way to go. Um, this works particularly well on lengthwise scarves um, where you don't have to do a sewn bind off or additional stretch to get it as stretchy as your cast on edge. Um, but you also may want to, to make it look the same, you may want to do a, an I-cord cast on as well so that both in what turns out to be sides of your scarf on a lengthwise scarf look the same. They both have kind of this tubular sort of look to them. One trick I do when I don't want my the last bound off stitch to look sloppy is I actually do two at once. So instead of knitting two together on the last two stitches, I knit three together. And then once you have the final three stitches of your I cord, just switch them back to your left needle and do a standard bind off, which is knit two, pass the first stitch over, knit one, pass the second stitch over, and then pull your yarn through. And what that gives you is this kind of tubular little tube at the top of your fabric that is very stretchy. So it's as stretchy as an I-Core tube, which is pretty stretchy as most of you probably already know. It's a little bit stretchier than your long tail cast on. So you can stretch it out a little bit further than you can even the cast on edge. Um, and it has a very neat, almost sort of uh, braided tube sort of like feel to it look. Um, and it's definitely much stretchier than a standard bind off. And again, it's almost decorative in terms of how it looks in terms of the final bind off. So hopefully you'll try that and uh, make use of that in your knitting. Thanks.